gathered here to have a wonderful CBSE teachers training session on financial literacy and use of digital tools. Digital financial literacy combines the skills needed to navigate financial services with the skills to use digital technologies. Depending on the user's proficiency, technology such as internet browsers and mobile devices may help to access financial tools. And no doubt, today's session will be helpful for us for the betterment of such skills. All our activities should be governed by the light of knowledge, especially the knowledge of dharma, and therefore it's imperative that we begin this auspicious session by lighting the lamp. The event will be starting by lighting the lamp. May I now request our resource person, Mr. R. K. Babulal, sir, and our principal ma'am, Mrs. Surya Prabha, to light the lamp. Please, sir. the blessings of the Almighty with our prayer. Yasara Pakshitam Umasutam Soka Vinachakaranam Namami Vigneshvara Pada Pankajam Saraswati Namastubhyam Varadekama Rupini Vidyarambam Karishyami Siddhir Bhavatume Sada Jnana Nandamayam Devam Nirmalas Padiha Kritim Adharam Sarva Vidyanam Haya Griva Upasmahe Call for spectacular welcome. A person who is an inspiration to all. She has given us the path to follow to make our dreams reality and given the firm foundation for the young minds. I feel very privileged to invite our respected principal, Mrs. Surya Prabha, ma'am, for the welcome address. Please, ma'am. Namaste, and very good morning to one and all gathered here. It's incredible when skills and passion come together. It's a honor and pleasure to have such an incredible person, Mr. R.K. Babulal, sir, whose native is Madurai, it's another pride to us, served in various capacities in Canada Bank in different states, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Karnataka, and West Bengal for more than 30 years. It's our pleasure to have him here with us today. Welcome, sir. My heart for the teachers of KRS, Mahatma Montessori School, Lager Coil, NRM Dream School, KC Vidyalim, and Evergreen Vidyashram. Being a part of CBSE itself is a learning to us each day. See, uh, your talent determines what you can do. Your motivation determines how much you can, you are willing to do. But your attitude determines how well you will do it. My best wishes for you all for today's session. Thank you. To honor our chief guest, Mr. R.K. Babulal, sir, with your memento. Please, ma'am. resource person, Mr. R.K. Babulal, sir, to take over the session. Please, sir. Yes. Are we alert now? 
I think this is a very pleasant, uh, fine morning. And uh, we are all uh, brisk with the uh, first day of the week, first uh, session of the day. So I think uh, we are not exhausted, we are fresh. So I think uh, you all uh, will be with me through these uh, deliberations, which will uh, last for about uh, one hour, 30 minutes, then followed by about half an hour for your question answer. It is expected that you participate so that the program is made a participative program rather than being a monologue from my side. You agree? How do we participate? You are answering my questions wherever I put questions to you, if at all. <coughs> I, I think uh, I want to give you a comfort saying that uh, I will not be asking you questions which are not uh, known to, unknown to you, which are not known to you. Okay. Then, uh, before entering into this program, I uh, first uh, want to thank the CBSC board for having given me this uh, wonderful opportunity to have a glimpse of this auditorium first. Because being in Madurai, born and brought up in Madurai and having been in this uh, Madurai city for more than uh, uh, seven decades, okay. I have heard about this institute's name and I have crossed over this while going to Tutikarin or something like that, but never uh, had an opportunity to enter into this uh, campus. I am really flabbergasted to see that such a wonderful infrastructure is available here and very bright uh, faculties are inside that campus. And uh, I am really proud that this August uh, organization is in the process of creating the wonderful students who are going to occupy very uh, responsible positions in this country's making. And just before, uh, just after entering into this campus, I was uh, having an interaction with uh, Madam Surya Prabha. This campus is having more than five or six uh, colleges. Uh, more are in the technical line. And uh, the only institute in Madurai I know, which is importing the uh, nautical sciences uh, engineering in Madurai. And I think in southern of uh, Tamil Nadu also, apart from uh, Coimbatore or Chennai, there may be some institutes. So really, I am uh, feeling very much privileged to be amongst you at this uh, fine hour. So having said this much, I would like to ask you one question. Before entering into this, before this, I would like to give an introduction of this uh, program, why it is and what it is, for what. Finance, finance is a very broad term which is required from any household to any large commercial and industrial organization. The backbone of this finance is money. Money is needed for all. Money is needed for all. So, when the money is needed for all, how do we earn it? How do we spend it? And how do we save? The hard earned savings, where to put so that it is growing and coming to us in a handy position to meet the requirements. What are the technical, as uh, was told in the uh, introductory part of this uh, program, so many technical devices have come and technology, technicalities have come into existence, which we could never imagine 
about a decade back everything is in your hands now in the form of mobile so how to harness these uh, devices for this uh, financing our uh, personal needs that is what i think uh, the board thought the cbse board thought the faculty if the light is uh, lit amongst the faculty it will trans transcend into your students as a chain reaction so that when the students grow up and uh, become adulthood and uh, enter into parenthood they will have a fair idea about savings and uh, investment so for that i think uh, one uh, financial organization sundaram mutual fund has entered into some tie up with the board for conducting these awareness programs among various schools periodically it is uh, being conducted i had the privilege of uh, conducting a similar program at uh, mahatma global on 23rd of january of this year which was uh, attended by not less than 120 people so compared to that the attendance here is very less but uh, still it is not uh, the number counts the people who are present if they are in a position to grasp what is being uh, deliberated in the program and carry forward for implementation that will be greater so this is uh, uh, what is about this program so i am supposed to show you about 58 slides comprised uh, comprised in this um, powerpoint presentation but before entering into this uh, slide show let us talk in general about the matters related to this topic i will ask you one uh, simple question all of us are having occasion to enter into any medical shop or pharmaceutical shop when we purchase some medicine apart from various other things two dates we look into what is that two dates on the label manufacturing date and expiring date expiry date each one of us having on date which is already known to all what is that date of birth date of birth is known to all is there any fixed date of expiry for any human being do we know answer then the science has told the life expectancy of human being has increased from average is 60 years to about 70 80 years that is a general thing but each one of us including me are we certain up to this date only i am going to be there are are we perennial no so the uncertainty is uh, looming large in the human being so during this uh, uncertain span of life ranging from one day why i am telling one day there are cases where the born infant is uh, going off for some reason or other or uh, there are people who live beyond 100 also 120 like that we get uh, in newspapers during the uncertain life span of one day to more than 100 years 
each one of us has to pass through different phases of our life childhood then uh, teenage adulthood parenthood then old age at at each stage the requirements to meet the social commitments are very many so long we are students our need for food shelter and what not is taken care by our parents but once we become adult enter into parenthood what was being done by the parents for us has to be performed by us meeting educational expenses and putting them into the married life helping them to carry on the household all those things in each and every phase of our life the essential criteria required is money this is one aspect what we are knowing already it is not a new thing i don't want to claim that i am telling anything new everything is new known to you but uh, how we are going to link this uh, known facts to this uh, programs uh, topic you will come to know later okay Th- this is one aspect now about uh, one year back what was the uh, cost of one cup of coffee in an ordinary hotel about 10 10 rupees 10 rupees can you get it now what is the cost of uh, one plate of idli in a medium moderate hotel pardon not less than 20 rupees why it is so the cost has been increasing but uh, this is one aspect that is inflation this is uh, inflation so b- because inflation is going on changing the purchasing power of money with 1 rupee if uh, old people like your uh, grandparents they used to they could tell you for 1 rupee they could finish the evening breakfast i have in 1960s with 1 rupee one uh, uh, padi or padi arisi i could get now for 1 rupee ka- what you can get now even uh, the arms makers that is beggars outside the temples don't accept 1 rupee minimum 2 rupees you have to give if you give 1 rupee what will happen sort of throwing on your face he will refuse to accept it okay so purchasing power of money is dwindling what is the value of 1 rupee today any idea maybe less than 10 paise okay if you take one uh, 100 rupee note outside in a medium hotel only you can get a meals 80 rupees 85 rupees is the average cost of a meal if you ha- want to enter into a decent hotel and go for a meals it should be more than 100 ranging from 120 to 150 i am not telling about the luxurious food not uh, telling about gome ordinary food so that is one aspect then health care what do you find today competing with uh, very large uh, institutional organizations in education like uh, the saral institute of technology and all you are finding very large buildings for corporate hospitals so 
corporate hospitals charge you not less than 500 to 1000 rupees per consulting if you have to get admitted you have to have a ki- very fat kitty in your hand so how to uh, protect yourself against the eventuality when you are required to get undergo undergo medical treatment as a admitted patient government is bringing in so many social welfare schemes like uh, free medical treatment medical insurance and cashless uh, treatment in uh, government hospitals but how many of us are in a position to have an access to those uh, facilities because the system is made so complicated it is there but you cannot touch it that is the situation so for uh, uh, decent people who are required to safeguard their old age requirements or in even uh, the normal life you have to take care of your health so for that various insurance products are there then uh, we have to think for all these things what are required another aspect important aspect is that except for the people who have got legacy of uh, good fortune wealth and savings from your grandparents many of us here i don't know what is your background but still many of us are required to work hard to make an earning to meet the household requirements and is there whether the income or the source of income is unlimited for a salaried person there may be annual increment but after some stage in the time scale there will be a cap so after that you would have reached a stagnation the point is that there is there is a limit on the source of income but uh, the need the needs or the wants are very many the expenditure required to be made for all these uh, wants is unlimited source of income is limited but uh, the wants are unlimited and uh, you would be experiencing most probably the budget la thundu en solvanga liya so every month uh, you will have to struggle to meet both ends meet with the limited source of income because the change in our lifestyle what was essential earlier what was a luxury earlier has become essential for this household now in how many houses there used to be a washing machine about uh, say two decades back and many of us because you become uh, you are uh, from the uh, middle age group you know about the ammi varal ella you know but what about your grandchildren and all you have to make the sh- showcase for ammi varal they know only about various brands of mixes grinders okay so lifestyle change if you don't have uh, 43 inches led tv are you respected in your uh, society no you should have you should have minimum uh, dual sim uh, cell phone in your hand who is not having only we are thinking to have or not to have but uh, right from the rickshaw puller or the hand cart puller is having two phones of for two sims each so where we are going so it all see now ordinary uh, the conversation has been encashed by this uh, telecom industry now where where we are 
your friends or your children living abroad are in a position to contact you to know what is the formula for this chutney or formula for this recipe and what is the step by step procedure for making this particular item advantage advantage and convenience made to you made available to you at the advent of the technological development yes no doubt but uh, nothing is coming free of cost so for anything and everything you have to spend so average uh, for a human being for each person in a family of uh, say three or four people not less than 1000 rupees per month is being spent on phone itself do you agree earlier it was uh, not necessary that you should always carry your cell phone the first thing what we look into once you get up from your bed is the cell phone first uh, you have to see whether any greetings is there or any photo has come for whatsapp good morning good morning like that so all forwarded messages should be there otherwise you feel uh, you are neglected and at the uh, fag end of the day when you want to retire to your bed you should have at least 100 uh, forwarded good night messages sweet dreams messages so all these things are there so for coping with this uh, technological development to have these things in your hand and be respected in your colleagues and your society, uh, social circle you have to spend i cannot put my children in an ordinary school for education i have to have rl rli or something like that na no? krs mahatma velamal where did you study government corporation municipal and some of the schools where we studied may not be in existence now in 1970s 67 to 70 for the whole 3 years degree course the total amount of fees i had to pay was less than 1500 or something out of that at the rate of about uh, 75 rupees per month uh, for 12 months was given uh, as a scholarship by the central government for having taken hindi as a second language instead of tamil and 100 rupees in the second year so 1200 plus uh, 1200 plus 900 about uh, 2000 was met by the government scholarship now for a student studying in a cbc school or a global school or international school of this standard monthly conveyance charge itself is not less than 3000 rupees if i if i am right much, maybe much more also so where, where what what do i want to make the point is the cost of education is nothing less now so so far we have seen basic needs like food and we are not uh, satisfied with ordinary one set of dress fashion technology has come into existence so what is today a big fashion is absolute tomorrow so what you are required to do if you want to be respected in your uh, friend circle the latest uh, fashion should be on your body so you have to have number of uh, sets of dresses so need for dress which is considered as a, one of the basic requirements for human being undi urai vidam three items you know these things were considered as basic requirements for human being to survive but now everything has become luxurious 
the luxury has become essential for meeting this uh, cost of essentials you have to have sufficient money and uh, it is wise to live within means isn't it you are not supposed to borrow unless you have got the capacity to repay otherwise you will enter into debt burden and that will be killing you but uh, how many phone calls you may be receiving every day do you want congratulations i am so and so from this bank congratulations you have got a pre approved loan of 6 lakhs press so and so number for applying you if you are tempted to press that number where you will end up like that credit cards so many organizations are approaching you through the media people you get this credit card so many reward points are there that is there this is there and uh, money cut back is there so all temptations all temptations are there so to meet these things you have to earn the earned money has to be preserved and spent judiciously so as to leave something as a saving in your hand okay every month uh, you are saving say 100 rupees if you keep those 100 rupees saved uh, in a small hundi and keep it in yourself is it okay will it grow so what you have to do you have to make investment so what are the avenues available for investment and there may be so many ads you would have come across innaik 1000 rupees kodutingina adutha maasam 3000 rupees kodupom save 10000 every year, every month for one year you will get uh, three times of the money you saved we know very well it is not possible for anybody to give it but still there are so many intermediary peoples like agents or brokers maybe from our own front circle or family circle you will be tempted to oblige at any point of time and make such investment which is highly risky there are umpteen numbers of alerts from reserve bank of india government of india media saying that don't fall prey for this tempting spurious investment schemes but still there are so many cases where people succumb to these uh, tempted temptings about 6 uh, months back one group of people from madurai they came to me and told a manufacturing company in mumbai they had floated some scheme that is um, uh, just like a multi level marketing scheme if you become a member and for the amount you invest 30% will be returned to you immediately once you introduce another person for the from the money what he is going to invest from that money he will also be given 30% out of the 30% what is being given to him 10% will be given to you like that something okay falling prey to that tempting tempting uh, ad and uh, scheme not less than 100 people had invested about say uh, 5 crore rupees from madurai and surrounding only there were so many other groups also neighboring districts of tamil nadu 
So, way they came to me is that because the program that uh, scheme was announced by a company, private company, registered under the Companies Act, which is regulated by the Ministry of Corporate Affairs, which is having a website called uh, MCA21 website. In that website, there is a facility to make a complaint where the companies which are not supposed to promote all these uh, schemes, if they have done, people who are affected can make complaints in that. So, to large complaints under that portal, to, through that facility, they approached me for large in the complaints. The amount involved was not less than 5 crores. Why I am telling is, though there are so many educative and uh, uh, alert uh, messages given by the government and uh, Reserve Bank of India and other regulators, out of uh, uh, what you call greed, out of greed and the desire to become rich quickly by shortcut without putting in hard work. Some hard work word was heard when introducing. You know. So people are tempted to earn or save without doing hard work. So because of that uh, tendency on the part of the common people, there are organizations which are volunt uh, wantonly tempting the people to amass wealth, amass money, and over a period they vanish. So they are, uh, there is a term called the vanishing companies itself in the company, Companies Act. So like that, so many things are there. The financial literacy, what we are trying to understand in this program is we have already told why there is need for money, what are the various uh, items requiring money and what are the avenues available for investment. Everybody knows, if you are having some money in your hand, where you will uh, put it? In any bank? Everybody, I think everybody is having a savings bank account. Okay. Apart from savings bank account, in a bank, what are the other types of deposits you are having? Pardon? No, in bank, post office you are telling, okay. In bank, what are the various types of deposits? SP is the common where you are putting money, withdrawing and you are keeping on transacting. Apart from that, you have you heard about recurring deposit? Recurring deposit, every month uh, say fixed amount you are uh, going on uh, uh, depositing. Say for a fixed period of 12 months, th 2 years, 3 years like that. At the end of that, with the compound interest, you are getting back the money. Like that, uh, you are having fixed deposit. Fixed deposit again, it may be ordinary fixed deposit where you are getting simple interest at a fixed rate of interest. There are cumulative deposits where you will not be drawing interest uh, till the end of the period. Suppose you are making a deposit for two years. The interest will be added to the principal at a agreed rate of interest at an interval of uh, each quarter. Every three months they will be going on adding. That is uh, compound interest. So at the end of the period, you will get a, a maturity value. So if you are, are you having uh, some relatives or friends abroad? For them, what are the avenues available in bank for investment? What types of accounts they can open? Any idea? NRA. They are called NRA. They can open 
एन आर ई अकाउंट्स एन आर ई अकाउंट्स विच आर हैविंग सम टैक्स बेनिफिट्स एंड ऑल टैक्स फ्री रादर वॉट एवर इंटरेस्ट इज बी ग्रेटर हैव यू हर्ड अबाउट एफ सी एन आर अकाउंट एफ सी एन आर अकाउंट इज फॉर इन करेंसी नॉन रेसिडेंट अकाउंट दैट मीन्स सपोज इफ दे रेमिट इन डॉलर्स इट विल नॉट बी कन्वर्ट इन टू इंडियन रुपीज बट इट विल बी deposited as a dollar itself what is the advantage when it is converted into rupees the conversion rate is going on changing from time to time it may be sometimes favorable to us sometimes adverse to us so the amount uh, saved and deposited in the foreign currency itself earlier only three currencies were uh, allowed to be kept like this that is us dollar pound sterling and japanese yen subsequently i don't know whether uh, they have added euro or those things they, it may be there euro also i think so that money suppose the person nra if he wants to utilize this uh, foreign currency amount uh, lying in india for any investment in that place where he is residing in abroad as it is without any uh, conversion he can draw as dollar or pound sterling whatever type of account he is having so fcnr account how are you are you aware about nro account non resident ordinary account that means if a person goes abroad in a short period of say maximum 6 months he is supposed to declare to the banker where he is having indian account and get it converted as a nro account the income being created there that is by way of interest is liable for tds tax deduction as source so that is a requirement under the regulation called fema are you about are you aware about the fema foreign exchange management act okay fema is the regulation where the import export and cross border transactions in money suppose nra wants to remit funds here or he wants to draw funds from here to that place or if you want to send goods abroad or if you want to import goods from ab- abroad all these transactions are regulated by two one is reserve bank of india is the regulator the regulating act is fema foreign exchange management act up to 2000 year year 2000 the fema act was not there there was a act called fera foreign exchange regulation act so for any mischief done in the foreign transactions import export or uh, remittance of funds if any default or uh, mistake or fraud is done under the fera act up to 2000 the punitive action or penalties or punishments were very severe for anything and everything the punishment used to be imprisonment and uh, proceedings from the authority called uh, enforcement directorate now under the fema to encourage import export and uh, inward um, inward flow of uh, foreign funds into india so that foreign uh, earnings reserves of the government of india can be augmented the fema has uh, slightly reduced the vigor of the punishments in many cases imprisonment is not there but the penalties are very severe suppose due to some mistake or non compliance an exporter or a person 
who is dealing with foreign exchange has committed 100 rupees of uh, default the interest penalties all those things uh, will be not less than four times of the amount involved that means by ignorance or wantonly a fraud has been committed to the extent of 100 rupees or by ignorance or innocently you had committed a mistake involving 100 rupees the amount you have to sell out to the government would be not less than 400 rupees it is a very simple small amount i am telling the foreign exchange transactions will be involving multi million amounts in foreign currency if you think about 1000 dollars you have to multiply into 75 so 1000 dollar means 75000 rupees and if it is uh, 100 times means you can imagine the amount involved so sometimes you know the business people who had done without proper guidance some mistakes the penalties that would be levied will be so huge that they may have to even close down their business or part with their hard earned properties and savings so these are all actually part of the financing of uh, commercial and uh, industrial undertakings being a uh, persons not having access to those things we are not having much uh, knowledge about this i don't know i am presuming that you may not be having access but uh, being a household people pent up in the uh, daily routine of uh, coming to the school teaching to our students you may have very little opportunity i don't uh, say that you don't know you didn't have the opportunity you are not having the opportunity to think about such things called uh, financial regulations if you want to buy and sell shares in uh, companies like uh, Raymond, Reliance, you have to have an account, DMAT account. Earlier, before this DMAT came, if you invested, suppose uh, you are investing some uh, 10,000 rupees in a fixed deposit in a bank, what you will get? as a proof for your investment you are going you are getting fixed deposit receipt isn't it everybody i think everybody is having fixed deposit with some bank or other you should be so you are getting fixed deposit receipt earlier if you invest in a share capital of a company they used to issue share certificate in a physical printed form physical form so there were so many uh, things that were happening when one person is having that share certificate if he is selling to another person the person who purchases the share certificate would not have given to that uh, company for transferring the share certificate in his own name. The other person, he would have sold to other person, so it will be going on changing hand to hand. But uh, who is the final holder, holder? Will not be, was not being known. Uh, let me s uh, briefly tell about this demand and uh, uh, we are supposed to break for tea. Okay. Uh, that uh, share certificate uh, was having some uh, uh, misdeeds being done by the investing community. So to avoid that, to plug that loophole in the system, they brought in the dematerialized form, that is digital form of investment. So if you now invest uh, in a share capital of a company, you will not be issued any certificate Instead, they will credit the number of shares for which you have paid money into the DMAT account 
which you are supposed to maintain with the demat account providing people organizations like uh, integrated jojit and there are various uh, banks uh, indian bank mutual fund uh, or canara bank mutual fund like that each bank state bank of india all banks are having a wing to open and maintain demat account for their customers so you are supposed to open a demat account whatever you are purchasing it will be credited suppose for instance in a sb account suppose today you are depositing 1000 rupees that will come into deposit column and balance will be 1000 tomorrow you can withdraw 500 rupees 500 uh, debit column will be there balance will be 500 like that in the demat account today you are purchasing lens 100 shares it will be credited tomorrow you are purchasing raymond 100 shares that also will be credited day after tomorrow you are selling 50 shares of reliance so reliance account uh, d will be debited reliance shares will be debited to your account balance will be 50 reliance and 100 raymond like that any number of company shares you can purchase any number of company shares you can sell that will be reflected only by way of a digi digital statement demat account statement so periodically if you are continuously making transactions every month monthly statement they will provide otherwise if there is no such a transaction then quarterly they will provide a statement for this uh, uh, demat account providers there is a controlling body organized by the government of india nsdl national security depository limited and cdsl like that two organizations with them this uh, demat account providers have to register themselves so that any fraud against the investor can be prevented because strict regulations are there for all these things that is uh, demat account provider nsdl cdl the apex thing is sebi you would have heard about sebi security exchange board of india so sebi under that nsdl cdsl and under that various uh, demat account providers they are holding accounts for their customers and all the transactions are being recorded there so you would have heard about the concept called kyc kyc all the banks would have asked you to complete kyc know your customer know your customer simply this thing who are you bank wants to know who is this deposit holder whether he is a, a crime criminal person or he is a unwanted gunda so they don't want to have such people so they want to know you are a genuine citizen of india and you are having a pakka residence at a particular place and you are so and so so what they want you they want your personality proof id proof that is a uh, uh, address proof so usually what are they pan pan of each person for id proof and uh, tax proof okay then other uh, then uh, other or uh, voter's id or bank uh, account uh, statement or your uh, utility bill utility bill means uh, eb bill or gas bill or telephone bill landline telephone bill all those things are uh, require required to be deposited with that banker so that your identity identity is established and uh, it was initially thought uh, that it will be a one time affair now because people are going on changing their residences and their status all those things now they have started you have to renew that is uh, complete this uh, kyc process every year okay now 31st March is the deadline for one important thing. I don't know whether all of you are aware. Linking of PAN, linking of PAN with the other. 
otherwise will what will happen to your pan if you are not linking pan with other your pan will be blocked so what is the implication of that you cannot fail your it return once your pan is blocked wherever you go for uh, making remittance of more than 50000 rupees in a bank it will not be accepted because you are re required to declare your pan the moment you declare your pan they will uh, uh, just go to the uh, pan portal and see whether it is active or not active or blocked so you will not be in a position to make any transaction more so with all mutual fund demat account i don't know whether you have already uh, linked your pan to your uh, various uh, investments you have made in the demat account 31st march is the deadline if you don't do suppose you are having a uh, thousand units of uh, one particular mutual fund uh, in a demat account or physical form itself you are having then if you want to sell you will not be in a position to sell you have to first complete that uh, linking of pan and then only you will be allowed to sell that pan uh, that uh, mutual fund units so like that uh, uh, i don't know whether uh, you are uh, able to imagine and guess the gravity of this uh, problem how many are having this uh, mutual fund investment madam sir have you made any mutual fund investment yes or no no yes or no no you have made in which mutual fund pardon canara bank okay uh, can rubeco can rubeco canara bank they have got can rubeco mutual fund okay so already you have uh, given your pan and all then you are safe otherwise they are going on sending alert so these are the requirements for establishing your identity and proving that you are a genuine social person not a criminal so with this uh, we will break now come with uh, rejuvenated energy to go further into the slides now it is time for going through the slide show because it is uh, mandatory for me to show you the slide apart from what i say before entering into that uh, slide show uh, briefly i will tell about the other avenues of uh, insurance particularly health insurance and medical insurance and the most uh, uh, popular thing called ppf public provident fund so with these three things uh, after that we will go to the slide show then okay we will break now are you sure yes okay now before going into the slide show two or three very important uh, points uh, i would like to share with you what i know okay uh we are talking about the banks there are different types of banks the apex bank is the reserve bank of india is the bankers bank that is for all the banks that is the regulator and it is the government's bank also then comes the uh, state bank of india and then various nationalized banks like canara bank syndicate bank all those things and uh, there have been a lot of uh, mergers earlier you used to have state bank of travancore state bank of mysore all those things uh, which are all uh, subsidiaries of state bank of india today they are no more they are all merged with the state bank of india then syndicate bank merged with the uh, canara bank then uh, so many banks have merged with the uh, other banks and the idea of the government is that the number of banks should be uh, minimized so that the mal practices being done by the corporates large corporates by availing a multi finance from multiple banks can be reduced it is very difficult to avoid okay so they want to see whether these things can be reduced then uh, apart from this commercial banks commercial banks again there are uh, nationalized banks government banks and private sector banks in private sector banks again there are old type of uh, private sector banks like city union bank lakshmi vilas bank which is no more there it has merged with uh, dbs bank karuvisa bank limited tamil nadu mercantile bank limited uh, city union bank limited all these are uh, private sector old generation banks new generation private sector banks or axis bank hdfc bank limited 
and ICICI Bank Limited. Okay. Apart from this, there are so many other banks uh, which are oriented towards uh, rural funding, rural funding for uh, various things. They are called uh, cooperative banks, cooperative urban banks, cooperative land development banks, like that, what not. And uh, latest origin, that is about, uh, say, within five years or so, many small banks have been given license to operate in the banking sector by the Reserve Bank of India. Uh, you would have heard about uh, Ukuta Small Finance Bank. Have you heard any name like this? Only small, uh, a few ne uh, heads are nodding. Okay. Uh, you please know that uh, there are small finance banks have been given license, not less than 10 t uh, such types of banks have been given. Okay. Jana Small Finance Bank, Yukuta Small Finance Bank, Fincare Small Finance Bank, like that. What is that small finance means? They have been given a cap of uh, funding for loans for industries and commerce to the extent of not more than 50 lakhs. So long as they are in the category of small finance bank. That's why small finance. Small finance is capped at 50 lakhs per borrower. Because of that they have been termed as small finance bank. Okay. So uh, these are the latest developments in the banking sector. Lot of uh, mergers and demergers have taken place. And uh, uh, compared to the period that is 1971 to 2001, that is the 30 years uh, during which I was working with Canara Bank, the role of the banker has changed totally. Earlier, the major function of the banks were only taking deposits and uh, lending to the people. Then uh, slowly the card business added, that is uh, debit card, then credit card. Then uh, now they are acting as corporate uh, agents for various insurance uh, products. Okay. Then, uh, this, uh, this much about the banks. Okay. Uh, then, uh, <coughs> regarding post office and the banks, I wanted to tell you about the public provident fund. See, for organized sectors of uh, industry and commerce, the workers and employees are eligible for contributory provident fund. That is a retirement benefit scheme for people. In the unorganized sector, that is where the people are not uh, having such uh, schemes and all. They have to have some plan for their uh, retirement uh, uh, period. So for them, uh, to enable them, the government has uh, uh, organized uh, the PPI, Public Provident Fund Scheme. That is available in post offices as well as various banks also, uh, particularly State Bank of India and uh, some of the nationalized banks. So there you can make, a, uh, that is, uh, a tax saving uh, uh, instrument also. That is, you, I think you are aware, all are you uh, filing IT returns? IT returns? So those who are filing IT returns, you will be aware that up to uh, 1.5 lakhs rupees per annum, you can save under section 80C towards premium, insurance premium, provident fund, public provident fund, like that, empty number of items are there. Then uh, that PPF, you can make at the most 1.5 lakhs rupees if you have not uh, made any other investment uh, eligible for ATC. Even if you make more than that amount, uh, while filing IT return, you will be limited to 1.5 lakhs only to claim as a rebate under the income. To that extent, you are not paying the in uh, income tax. So that PPF scheme is the most beneficial scheme uh, for ordinary people like us. Those who are particularly, even if you are having a, a PF scheme uh, under in your organization, you are not prevented from having the PPF also. So for a single individual, you can uh, save up to 1.5 lakhs in a year under that uh, PPF scheme. If it is going to be a joint account uh, between spouses, then it can be 3 lakh rupees. So, that is uh, uh, giving uh, the income as well as the maturity amount tax-free. It will not be taxed. Whatever interest is being created every year in that account will not be taxed. So no question of TDS. And uh, like that, when that is the deposit scheme is for a period of 15 years. So at the end of the 15th year, you have got an option either to close the account or you can further extend it for another five years also. So the advantage is the amount that has uh, accumulated there by way of principal plus interest plus interest, then uh, you can, uh, and you are going on contributing every year also. 
so it will be a lump sum amount so about uh, 2000 23 2008 or so i had started one uh, ppf account uh, with a contribution of about uh, 12500 per month today i think uh, next year it is going to mature the accumulated value of the amount is not less than 22 to 23 lakhs as of last march so this march uh, again interest will be added so that is giving you a fairly decent rate of interest that is uh, that is run by the government of india so it is a risk free investment tax free investment everybody if you are not having you just go through google gives everything what god does not give okay so you uh, through the google you uh, learn about the ppf account you can make an investment in that okay uh, then uh, we have told about a demat account demat account is uh, given by many uh, providers uh, almost all banks are having that uh, demat uh, division you can uh, think where you are having sbi account that banker you can uh, check whether they are in a position to provide you the demat as uh, facility uh then uh, the most important the insurance product insurance product that is for uh, health insurance as well as medical insurance medical insurance is for taking care of uh, the uh, health uh, eventualities like uh, undergoing surgery admitted getting admitted in the hospital so there the earliest age you know if you enter into the insurance product at uh, the early age because it is all linked to the age uh, this health insurance as well as uh, life insurance it is uh, linked with the age because health uh, as you grow up in age uh, the possibilities probabilities of uh, getting illness is more so because of that they hike up the premium rate for the same amount of 1.5 lakh coverage you know if you are say at the age of 20 if you are taking a policy if you are at the age of 30 you are taking a policy per annum it is a per annum uh, premium it may be say about 10000 rupees or something per annum the same for the same amount if you want to take at the age of 50 it will be more than double or triple okay and uh, what you have to learn about this is that it is not a savings uh, it is only a protection so whatever premium you are paying uh, in a year uh, that will end with the end of the year you will not be eligible to get any money back if you have undergone any treatment you can claim reimbursement against that policy every year you have to renew and uh, you, ha- you have to take care to see that on or before the due date of that uh, uh, health insurance policy you are renewing it because when you take the policy for the first time there is a cooling period within which you can make a claim suppose you are taking a policy today immediately you can ma- you cannot make a claim if you are entering into any hospital and uh, undergo treatment so minimum 3 months or uh, one for certain diseases one year uh, cooling period will be there so because of that you have to have that policy renewed once renewed means that uh, cooling period for the renewal uh, policy is not there only for the first time policy it will be applicable so there uh, for uh, non senior citizens there is a tax rebate to the extent of about 25000 rupees per uh, policy holder uh, in a year under section 80d of the income tax act okay so for senior citizens it is available up to the 50000 rupees per person so this is uh, available as a tax saving instrument health insurance then uh, life insurance life insurance you are all are aware about the life insurance corporation of india that is a public sector undertaking which has been recently uh, gone into the uh, share market by giving some portion of the share capital to the public so earlier it was 100% public sector undertaking now private participation also has been given to the uh, life insurance corporation of india apart from that life insurance corporation of india there are no, not less than 14 private uh, insurance companies like uh, icici prudential then uh, hdfc insurance sbi insurance kotak life insurance uh, tata aig insurance and uh, map life uh, no uh, med life insurance like that 14 types of insurance companies are there what are the types of insurance policies available to you are term policies 
then uh, pure endowment policies then uh, <coughs> mixed policies guaranteed income policies then money back policies like that there is a uh, one particular type of uh, uh, money back policies where if you invest uh, 1 lakh this year next year itself uh, you will get a credit of 30000 30% of the uh, premium you are paying you have to make a payment of uh, premium to uh, for a period of 10 years the policy will be live up to the age of your 85 years and after you are making payment of uh, premium for the first 10 years uh, also for the remaining entire period of the policy that is up to the age of your 85 that 30% per annum will be coming to you are you able to get the point you are making payment of uh, premium for 10 years from the commencement of policy you would have got 9 9 into 30% of the money paid as money back it doesn't stop at the end of the premium payment period of 10 years even after the 10th year from 11th year onwards up to the age of 85 years of the policy holder every month it will be coming so if you are having multi lakh properties uh, premium then you can multiply suppose 1 lakh means this much means 2 lakhs means this then again there is one variation called see instead of getting money back every year you can accumulate it for the first 3 years and after the fourth year you can withdraw if you want there the advantage is the for the first 3 years period the amount what should have been uh, paid out to you as a payout is retained with the institution because of that it is becoming eligible for compound uh, rate of interest and because of that the amount that is uh, available is uh, instead of 30% it may be 35 to 40% so for instance in one case uh, uh, it was taken uh, 5 lakh rupees per annum that is the premium payment for one year is 5 lakhs so uh, after 3 years uh, he he should have got how much 13 by 1.5 lakhs into uh, 1.5 lakhs uh, maximum 3 years if he had got back you know 4.5 lakhs he would have got it but he got about 8 lakh rupees because he had not uh, opted out for the payout every year he had opted for accumulating for the first 3 years and at the end of the uh, third year he drew so because of that he had more amount uh, accumulated such policies are there then uh, most important is the term policy term policy that means a uh, uh, term insurance policy is that where you are making the payment of premium for a particular period of uh, particular period that will be usually the period will be decided about uh, on the basis of the expected life of the policy holder suppose if you are going to live at up to 70 years then uh, the policy period should be the policy maturity day should fall beyond that only that is the critical thing in this policy type of policy is that during the life of the policy if the policy holder dies the nominee of the policy holder will get the benefit and that under the policy if during the life of the policy holder the uh, the policy expires then whatever amount you have paid so far will not be repaid to you so that is the essence of the term policy so while taking such policies what you have to be very careful is that the policy maturity period you should you should fall uh, much later than your uh, expected life of your expected life so there are policies now which are hybrid policies that is uh, totally not term a portion of the premium paid also will be paid back to you as a survival benefit if during the uh, life of the policy the policy holder is also live on the maturity date so there uh, the certain percentage say 30% or 40% now uh, there are uh, about uh, uh, 40 to 50% of the premium paid uh, will be uh, paid back to you as a survival benefit such policies also have come there also you have to be very, very careful about the premium payment period so that has to fall beyond the maturity date of premium payment period should fall after the your death 
if the due date falls before your death, then whatever money is given or that survival benefit given is much lesser. For instance, uh, one policy I had taken where the premium, uh, that uh, policy maturity period was uh, uh, falling on 2020, which was the expected uh, life. Uh, that is, I was uh, about to complete 70 years of my age at the time. So because of that, I had paid about uh, 2.5 lakhs of uh, premium. As a survival benefit, I could get only 1.15. Had I taken that premium payment period or the maturity period of the policy beyond uh, 80 years of my age, uh, up to which I expect to live, okay. And in that case, you should be much more, much beyond that 80th, uh, 80th years of age. So there is one policy uh, and in life where uh, I am required to make the payment of premium 10,000 rupees per annum up to the age of 99 years of my age. So before 99, I am supposed to take leave of uh, the world, okay. So if I do that, then my nominees will be benefited. Otherwise, the insurance company will get benefited because whatever amount you are paying is getting forfeited there, okay. So this is uh, about the insurance policy, health insurance and uh, life insurance. So now it is time for me to undergo the mandatory requirement of taking you across this uh, slide show. So, I think I can also come over there, down, so that I can guide my person to tell him, okay. Uh, repetition of what we have already discussed, okay. It will be hiding, you know. I will go that side. Uh, you can uh, quickly uh, next next put it life stage planning child uh, second child child's college car home so for all these things uh, do you want to compromise on your living standard after your retirement no even after your retirement you want to go by car you want to have a luxurious house so Earlier, because where there were no pension schemes in organizations, you know, the moment they retire and come home and they sit, you know, they would have stopped the newspaper. Why I should uh, spend for this? They should have, they would have uh, reduced the milk uh, purchase uh, from one liter per day to uh, 2.5, uh, that is uh, 20, uh, 250 ml. Like that, even uh, they were tempted to uh, cut back, uh, cut down their uh, uh, essential requirements. So, if you had some planning, go, next, next, you, uh, if you had some planning and you had uh, got uh, good savings, you know, then uh, uh, it was not necessary to do like that, okay. Life stage planning, what they say again, vehicle contingency fund for purchasing uh, uh, 20, 23 to 35 years only, uh, you would have come into a particular job, then uh, uh, why I should go by uh, risky two-wheeler two uh, bike. So I want to go by car. So there you have to have vehicle emergency fund, contingency fund, children's education, home. That is, you have to go for own house. That is a, uh, everybody's uh, dream. I should live in my own home. Why? Because if you are in a rented house or a leased house, uh, the landlord is going on increasing the rent uh, advance uh, and uh, you are under constant pressure of uh, shifting all your belongings uh, which you have uh, accumulated over a period. Okay, then uh, home the children's education and home contingency fund, uh, mid-career. Then children's marriage contingency fund. We have to uh, uh, get your children uh, married to a decent family where so many things are there, you know. Depending on your particular uh, community, things, uh, demands will vary, okay. Uh, then maintaining lifestyle medical fund contingency fund that's what post retirement you have to have uh, more amount for your uh, health care so for that uh, you have to have a uh, health insurance on all those things and uh, you should have some see you whatever these insurance products are there there are so, so many limitations in that if you have got any insurance uh, health insurance policy and you have uh, made claims there for anything and everything you know there will be a cap for room rent, there will be a cap. 
for medicines this will, there will be a gap and uh, certain items will be disallowed during a uh, pandemic you know covid pandemic myself and my wife had the uh, misfortune of uh, landing in a particular hospital we for both of us together the billing was about 7.5 lakhs even though there was a insurance policy with a coverage of 5 lakhs the total claim settled was only 2.15 lakhs because they are uh, they charged 30000 per day per room as a room rent and uh, for the ppe and all you know, that uh, uh, protective dresses they were using and uh, n90 that mask what they were using for the uh, nurses doctors and uh, attendant people all those things were put into our uh, kit uh, and which are uh, flat disallowed so for a point of uh, 7.5 lakhs uh, i could get a claim of only 2.15 lakhs and where, because they have not given the break up of uh, that 30000 per day out of that you know three times food and uh, uh, snacks and uh, coffee during uh, two times that uh, they had charged i think about 1500 to 2000 rupees that break up they had not given that is eligible for because their uh, break up was not given that uh, total amount was uh, reduced to only i think uh, 5000 rupees per day so 25000 rupees per uh, day was uh, disallowed but uh, there were certain hospitals which were in a position to give the break up there uh, they could get about uh, uh, say for a uh, spending of uh, 4 lakhs they could get up to 3 lakhs so we have to be choosy about the insurance companies hospitals everything okay the point is that you cannot uh, uh, totally depend on this insurance products for your uh, health care post retirement you have to have liquid cash savings in your hand the, nothing is uh, uh, better than your liquid cash in your hand okay now when you say liquid cash in your hand in some bank or somewhere it, it has to be there in this context uh, let me tell about the easiness with which you are in a position to transfer funds uh, from your account to various accounts because of this so many pays g pay google pay uh, rupee rupee like that so many payment devices have been evolved under the digital system and with the motivation by the government government's uh, idea is that what is uh, happening because of this uh, rupee and all you are getting captured because in the digital system the address from where the money is flowing to where it is flowing everybody is made known and it is entering into the government thing and uh, all the networks all the uh, portals income tax gst and what what not esi pf all the portals have been now linked so because of that you are there was a period where you were required to pay tax only on your income now what you are doing from uh, time you get up till the end uh, in a day without your knowing your government is taking lot of uh, taxes by way of gst okay so now this uh, digital payment system all is being encouraged by the government only to have a track of the people from resorting to the tax evasion so cash system means nobody knows what has been uh, spent for what but uh, once you make this uh, digital systems for, as a mode of payment then uh, the everything gets recorded so that is the final end uh, aim of the government we cannot escape that okay so we have to have post retirement lot of these things are life stage planning for these uh, areas we have to have savings next why do we need a financial planning balance today's needs with your goals for the future adapt change in your circumstances all these things we have already seen so i think uh, uh, i can uh, leave this uh, pp so that uh, you can uh, circulate your paper by there's no need for uh, writing down all okay it is a government property it's not mine huh? okay uh, prepare for unexpected emergencies prepare for retirement manage your taxes life your life with a sense of direction security so for all these things you know there are uh, types of various policies uh, particularly there is a insurance company called icici lombard they give uh, insurance uh, coverage for 
you are an emergency ambulance also. Uh, when you are admitted in a uh, ICSU, per day, 5,000 rupees, they will uh, give you cash back. So like that, that for uh, say 10 days or 15 days like that. For, in, for many things, there are coverage and protection is available, but it is uh, having a cost. Cost is exorbitant. So we, when we have to have one portion as a uh, savings, uh, then you have to have these products also side by side. There is a uh, saying, you know, you don't put all the eggs in a single bag set. So that is, you have to diversify your risk. So you have to have all types of savings, mutual fund, shares, bank deposits. And do you know what is the dwindling rate of a bank interest rate? Earlier there used to be 10%, uh, 11%, 12%, 12%. All those things had gone. Now for a uh, fixed de uh, deposit, I think uh, during this uh, January onwards, they have slowly increased in the rate of interest. It is around 7.1% uh, or 8%, but uh, you see the number of days for which they have to, you have to park your funds. Uh, they say 500 days. For 500 days, 7.1%. Uh, for uh, 700 days, 0.5% uh, will be more, 7.6%. So like that, the rate of interest is going on reducing. And SB interest also, it is uh, hovering around 2.5 to 3 percent. And there is going to be a period, to your astonishment, bank is going to charge you for uh, safekeeping your funds there. Because in foreign countries, the rate of interest is around 2 percent only. Like that, for borrowings also, their rate of interest has come less. So. Now we have to guard against this uh, fall in value of our savings because of the dwindling rate of interest. So there we have to seek uh, the uh, alternative avenues where the uh, yield rate is uh, say around 10%, 11%, 12% added with the life protection. There the various insurance products covered with uh, savings plus life protection is coming, coming into play. Many companies are there. Many insurance companies are providing various alternatives, but you have to be very choosy because you cannot simply uh, go by the sayings of the uh, agent or broker or uh, uh, whoever middleman is there. So you have to analyze yourself and whether it is meeting your requirements that you have to see. Okay. Uh, basis of a financial plan. Where am I now? Where do I want to go? How do I get from here to there? You would have been asking to your uh, students, you know, after uh, five years, what do you want to become? However, we will say I will become president or chairman or something like that. Like that, uh, it has, these questions have to be put uh, to yourselves uh, individually and then uh, you have to take stock of the savings what you are having in your mind, in your hand now. And at the age of, say, plus 10 after your retirement, I think retirement age is 58? 58. So at 68, what I should have in between how many grandchildren I am having? How many children I am having? How many houses I am having? If you are having one house, what are the maintenance charges? If you are going to have more houses, how, many, how much of tax you have to pay? How much maintenance you have to make? All those things you have to think. So, for all those things you have to make provisions. Because suddenly, you know, government is at the, uh, having the mood of uh, uh, exploiting money from the public by increasing all the rates. What was the EB rate uh, per unit uh, last year is not there now almost uh, two times or three times increased. Is there anybody to question them? No. Have you got any right? You have got the right because you are in uh, uh, free India. But uh, are we in a position to question uh, the government for any of its action? Are our uh, elected representatives, uh, do they make any human cry for any increase? No. So we are under compulsion to meet this uh, increasing trend of cost uh, from our own sources of funds. Uh, where there is a constraint about the limit uh, of savings we can make. Okay. Banking. So that we know bank is an institution where uh, deposit taken and uh, given as loan to various people. I told, about, I told about the recurring deposit. Next slide. Deposit insurance. What is that? For in each bank whatever you are having your savings, up to the amount of rupees 5 lakhs is uh, secured by the government insurance. It includes 
all types of deposits you are having in the bank. Fixed deposit, recurring deposit, savings account. If you are having more than 5 lakhs, if the bank fails, you will get only to the extent of 5 lakhs. Subject to the terms and conditions the government is going to put uh, at the time of the revival of the bank or closing down the bank. So, up to 5 lakhs you can safely have in a particular bank. Beyond that, uh, you have to diversify and go to some other bank. That is the significance of this particular thing, deposit insurance. Yes, next. Digital payment method. Uh, first, there was, uh, uh, you know, uh, any of you for making uh, uh, university fees or college fees, there used to be submission of demand draft. Then, uh, from your bank account to your uh, ward's account, or from your son account to your account, there was a funds transfer system called a mail transfer. Then came telegraphic transfer. Now telegram itself is not there. Okay. There was a uh, system called a telex. Are you able to see telex nowadays? No. Telegram is not there, telegraphic transfer is not there. So now, what is available? Then came net banking through the internet you can make transfers for that rgts neft all those things were there so all this neft all those things are strictly regulated by the reserve bank of india and it department of the government of india to protect the interest of the investors and money holders in spite of all these regulations and protective measures what do we see in newspaper every day Hacking of your uh, credentials, password, and uh, at no fault of yours, your hard-earned money parked in your bank account is easily getting hacked to others person, the criminals person. Okay, so where there is a facility, there is a drawback also. There is a difficulty also. You have to have safeguards. And uh, every time you will be getting in uh, your mail or your uh, WhatsApp, banks, uh, don't uh, share your OTP with anybody. And in a particular case, uh, recently also, in one of the ATMs, uh, one uh, elderly person had drawn money. By uh, forgetfulness, he had left the card there itself. Unfortunately, he had uh, written his password, you know, that PIN pin number, four digit number also in a small paper and that was also lying with that. So, from next ATM, the person who had got hold of that uh, ATM card had done the siphon of all the money that was available there. I, was, I think it was about 75,000 or uh, 1 lakh rupees. So, every bank is uh, educating us and uh, for fear of forgetting things, what we do? But uh, that is very dangerous. You are supposed to have it in memory, at least in your house, not with the card which is uh, being carried with you. So, like that, mobile banking, uh, then uh, internet banking, mobile banking, now every bank is having a mobile banking app in your bank, uh, in your mobile phone, desktop itself, it can be there. And uh, it is uh, very easy also. Now, uh, your uh, cell phone number itself is the identity for which uh, uh, money transfer is uh, ma being made. So, everybody is uh, watching the TV and everybody is uh, knowing the developments. So, it is only highlighted here for your uh, share of uh, sharing of uh, knowledge. Okay. Mobile wallet. What is that wallet? Purse. So, there are so many money transfer agents uh, like uh, Fastag or Swiggy or Zomato. Instead of for every payment, uh, you, if you want to make payment from your pocket, you are parking your funds uh, by transferring from your account to the wallet of that particular service provider. From there, uh, as and then you utilize their services, your uh, amount will be 
drained from there and it, it will be that bill will be met point of sale this is again a variation of these things for this you know uh, any person uh, who wants to enter into this uh, service providing has to get the license uh, particularly for that pos uh, facility okay unified payments upi facilities only uh, when you are able to register your uh, mobile number under this uh, then only you will be in a position to operate your mobile banking otherwise no and their own difficulty arises is that where if you are uh, have if you have linked your uh, mobile phone for more than one uh, sbi account in a single bank or in uh, various banks then up is not allowing you to register i am having that difficulty <laughs> okay <coughs> digital payments advantages of digital payments fast easy and convenient economical and less transaction fee uh some 2 rupees or something like that only they are charging provides a digital record of transactions that customers can track feedback is that you say a one stop solution for any type of payment okay next i think uh, th it doesn't in doesn't require any explanation it is self explanatory uh, do us and don't use password for your mobile and uh, computer so that no one else can access your system how many are doing that are you doing i am not doing <laughs> my my system once it is uh, switched on it will be uh, giving access but uh, it has to be okay uh, always visit your bank's secured internet banking site regularly that we will be doing log out of your internet banking immediately after you have completed your transaction even if you don't now the inbuilt system is there that uh, uh, session is uh, expired so you are compelled to co come out of that if you suspect another transaction in your account report it to your bank immediately uh, there are also alerts are coming from the bank uh, don't s never save your mobile banking login and password on the phone memorize i am giving in my keep notes which we should not do okay because for various things various passwords are there so we are having the fear of forgetting it once you forget a single digit of a particular password you are not having access in the emergency you will not be in a position to use that even if you are having lakhs of rupees in your account you will not be in a position to transfer even the 10 rupees if you forget your password so for fear of that we are doing these things but uh, the prescription is that you should not do that so you have to do that keeping various safeguards for yourself see each one should have uh, his or her own method of safeguarding that uh, uh, noting so you should not be visible to others you can have the noting but you should not be visible to others uh, never leave your handset unattended unattended and logged into your mobile banking app clear because in uh, several uh, tv serials we are seeing you know are you addict of uh, tv serials or at least you occasionally see no you have to huh You are, you are not saying, no, not as an addict, eh? but to know what types of criminal thinkings are going place in the minds of uh, the ladies. Now the ladies are all depicted as demons, <laughs> and uh, they are bent upon uh, breaking the marriages of uh, her compeers. Okay, so that is uh, not not for uh, the content of that. To know. what type of thinking is going on in the media how they are uh, spoiling the people for that sake and uh, in between such things like that you know give some precaution to you you should not uh, keep the cell phone unattended on a table because that is taken and uh, message you know, voice means it will be recognized so message what message uh, as if uh, the phone owner has sent uh, don't come meet lover is sending a message eh? saying that today by evening you have to meet that was the original plan the other uh, willy huh? she comes uh, and takes the phone and sends a message don't come so the other end you know thinks uh, why he gets confused uh, that uh, there is a strain in the relationship between that couple of lovers okay like that such things will happen so long as this is only marital relationship no harm if it is financial thing send 1000 rupees is the original message 
but uh, your uh, villain comes and says two digits two uh, zeros added instead of 1000 one lakh so the other person without verifying the source and the uh, genuineness of the message uh, if he does it you are lost uh, never download apps from untrustworthy and dubious sources but uh, what we are doing uh, you know one of the, uh, uh, how many of you are having any disk any desk uh, app or team we were de- uh, on your desktop laptop you know one of the things i saw this is also not authorized thing i am having you know we are having everybody is having because by having that app on your desktop if you want to make the corrections uh, in another person's desktop through that app it is possible but uh, uh, in one of the uh, alerts uh, it is told uh, you don't have such uh, apps uh, that is the third party apps that is what is told next life insurance we have already told how much life insurance coverage do you need they say as per them at least 10 times of 10 or 15 times of annual income so you have to calculate yourself for this uh, one uh, example has been given rule of thumb 10 or 10 per 10 times of annual income how much uh, loans uh, you have already taken for housing loan or education loan how much you have to repay then education expense of children children marriage legacy for family legacy for family means after meeting all these things how much uh, savings you want to leave for your uh, grandchildren or children depending on the bond age of affection you are having for, towards them okay so for all these things the uh, total insurance cover required according to them is 1.5 1.15 crore have you ever imagined this type of a figure we have been always thinking in terms of thousands or lakhs and uh, this insurance company has to get more business isn't it so unless uh, he tells the example of uh, crores you will not get more business i am not decrying about their uh, efforts it is uh, the way you have to plan the methodology for planning what are the things you have to take into account for planning your requirement insurance requirement uh, all those things are meant here okay next please estimate your uh, that is what that is homework according to that 1.15 crores according to your own individual cases how much you can okay next health insurance we have already told you have, you have to uh, choose the insurance provider their various conditions are there their uh, cooling period will differ types of uh, uh, sickness that will be excluded see whenever you take uh, insurance uh, health insurance policy there will be a phone call for getting confirmation then uh, that person you know that boy or lady they will be going on telling uh, what are all the things that are covered first they will say what are all the things not covered that will be not less than 30 30 items then they will say what are the things covered then uh, for which uh, cooling period is there and for which cooling period is not there so you have to have a written document in your hand and compare the terms and conditions before taking any health insurance policy while comprehensive policies are more expensive but it give you adequate protection that is the amount uh, being disallowed you know that will be less if you are taking comprehensive policy but that will be uh, uh embedded in into the premium amount see for instance non comprehensive policies for a coverage of 1 lakh rupees uh, per uh, annum 20000 rupees is the premium is for comprehensive policy it may be 30000 rupees so well you are making a claim so out of the amount you have claimed uh, that other policy will uh, settle only say 70% means they may give they may settle even up to 90% so that difference is there so you have to have a uh, personal thorough comparison of the pro- products wha- uh, what you want to take next we would all like to accomplish this what is that relax and have attention free life okay but uh, why worry about this now next securing retirement challenges we are living longer health care costs are skyrocketing inflation is eating away our savings breakdown in social system have you not uh, uh, discussed about this we have yes average life life expectancy life expectancy projection 2022 70.19 years average life in 2020 uh, 50 it is going to be 
that is uh, on the basis of the statistics okay health care costs are skyrocketing yes because the insurance premium also you know it has been going on increasing year by year okay next inflation is the way your savings value of uh, 1 lakh in the future at the 6% inflation 5 years at the end of 5 years 1 lakh will be 73000 10 years 54 15 years 39500 after 20 years 29000 that uh, they did not tell all these things we have been experiencing you know as i already told uh, one rupees value is only 10 paise now okay assuming your current monthly expenses uh, inflation this amount will rise to so they are trying to uh, link this uh, calculation for the amount of policy you should take next what we think we need what we need is daily what is that what we think we need is 2 rupees means what we need is really 4 rupees because known thing is to unknown things emergency things imposed things my son wants grandson wants daughter in law wants so those are additional to okay steps of retirement planning when will i retire that is known how long will i live nobody knows what is my monthly basic expenditure if you are having pension if you are having a regular income from your uh, properties or savings then you can have a fair estimate in the absence of that you have to make it a barest minimum what is my uh, what will be the cost of my expenses in future how much should i provide for my health care and medical needs last but one you can't judge because madam oh, oh, okay yes okay so i would like to complete by 110 hmm? we are uh, over sitting by 40 minutes Huh? Yeah, the last but one no. uh, today you may have only diabetic problem but uh, when you go for treatment for diabetic problem you enter uh, compulsively into the kidney problem that again leads to thyroid problem. So, what will come and what will not come is uh, not in our hands. Eh? So, how much should I? Nobody knows. So, you have to have a fair estimation of three times or four times of what you actually think it should be required. How much bu uh, buffer do I need for contingency assessments? Okay. Retirement planning and example. All those things are some. Uh, 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 assumed figures. Let us just skip that. Earth. Retirement planning, an example. Corpus needed is so much. Uh, uh, they have given some assumed figures for uh, each item of expenditure and uh, they have arrived at 3.430 years post retirement. I should have 3.17 crore rupees in my hand. Are we able to imagine that figure? <laughs> 3.17 crore. Hmm? Okay. We have assumed a 7.5% return on the Carpus post retirement. Present earnings 40,000, basic monthly expenses 25,000. So it looks fair because any person, I don't know whether your school is providing you a pension facility. Pension is there? No. PF is there? ESA is there? ESA is not going to give you any savings. PF. Okay, uh, 40,000, somehow or other, 1% may have earnings. Retirement age is 60, uh, present age is 35. We are all uh, around 35 and above. No. Life is from the C, 80 to 90 years. So, like that, uh, they have made some calculations. Okay, next. What do we need to do achieve this corpus? Save and invest. Saving and retirement save and invest next uh, then again you see this formula savings equal to there is a minute difference in that that into mark and the right mark what is that can you 
uh, understand household see income minus household expenses minus emi minus entertainment expenses next is household expenses plus emi plus entertainment expenses equal to income minus savings in the second thing what they emphasize is that first you have to have a target of your savings amount from the income first uh, set apart the amount you want to have your savings balance available income only you spend for household emi and entertainment suppose the balance is sufficient only to meet uh, household and emi then uh, don't go for cinemas entertainment that is the meaning of these two things that is savings equal to income minus all the expenses equal to savings here what they are what they are prescribing is out of the total income first you should have your determination about every month i should have this much as my savings so from the income you set apart the amount to be saved balance is available in that uh, first give priority expenses then next priority expenses if at all after this if any balance is available then only you think of going for entertainment expenses that is what the meaning of this okay next uh, how do how to increase your savings manage is no we know see cartel expenses increase uh, source of income okay next uh, disciplined uh, regular savings can produce big results Uh, have you heard about uh, SIP? Systematic Investment Plan. So every month, uh, every month you have to make a fixed uh, investment. Many mutual funds are having that. Okay, next. Uh, start yearly. That is, uh, if you start earning, uh, saving yearly, at the age of uh, 60, you have uh, amassed uh, more money. if you are making a delayed uh, uh, entry then the amount uh, saved will be less it is a pure mathematics so it uh, does not need, uh, need any elaboration next now your options we have already told about savings bank bank fixed deposits national pension scheme government uh, scheme company fixed deposits government savings real estate bonds shares gold mutual funds last but one is known to all gold everybody is first investing only in gold uh, mutual funds various things are there there are certain mutual funds i was telling to madam that uh, if you invest uh, <coughs> this month uh, from next month onwards you know they will start uh, declaring dividend one instance is uh, hdfc mutual fund is having one scheme called uh, uh, ba- balanced advantage advance uh, yeah balanced advantage fund equivalent pro- products are there in other mutual funds also they are every month you know they are declaring around 11% uh, dividend or something like that which is much uh, uh, more than any bank rate of interest now available now so such a things you can uh, select uh, in consultancy with the investment uh, consultants next for the long term equity is the best bet to achieve retirement goals we are ta- telling about uh, demat capital market investment but it is a risky a risky game you have to be very choosy you cannot do on your own there are intraday trading interday trading all those things are there and uh, unless you are very familiar with this uh, transactions you cannot do on your own you have to do it on in the consultation and the guidance of the experts in the capital market operations next sensex returns they have compared this uh, uh, investment in uh, capital market with other things okay next 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 so what they have told uh, value of 1 lakh investment over the years after 3 years 1.6 after 20 years 8.5 lakhs if invest in census as on december 31 21 so over a period if you are making investment of 1 lakh uh, how it will grow after 5 years 3 years like that they have calculated so 8.5 times it is uh, growing it all uh, see depends on various factors including government policies so uh, in the standard things it has been assumed and calculated like this okay next uh, market is too high no problem you can still make uh, good money okay they are t- telling about the sensex and uh, nifty okay uh, what if you miss the 10 bit days that is 
see in a capital market investment uh, the once the rates are starting high at the time uh, you will be tempted to sell but uh, the investor guidance you know they will give no you purchase now because now it has reached some high after another two, two months or three months it is going to reach a still better height so this is the time you have to make more investment so these are all very tricky things so uh, we have to devote more time patience and uh, analytic uh, analysis analysis then only we will be in a position to make risk free investment otherwise whatever you earn, you know at a stroke of time you know it will go uh, about uh, 10 days back or 15 days back uh, the sensex and the nifty index uh, had fallen down like anything so and uh, as and when there is a fall you will uh, get a newspaper uh, uh, news saying that so many had lost so many billions of uh, rupees and so many had lost their lives also okay <coughs> you could invest in request time expertise constant attention okay next next what is a mutual fund uh, it is a professionally managed pool of funds that invest in different financial securities to achieve predetermined predefined objectives and everywhere you will see in tv ad also mutual funds are risky like that uh, mutual funds are subject to market risk please read all documents carefully before investing they are reading you know each document will be running to 10 pages 15 pages the type you know eight font size eight with this also you will not be in a position to read so after reading you have to understand after understanding you have to make analysis then you have to make investment that's what they are telling you okay uh, the mf advantage can invest in uh, virtually all asset classes through mfs that means uh, debt instruments or uh, equity instruments that's what they say professionals and experts manage your money convenient and flexible transparent M- uh, many tax benefits are advantages low cost diversification liquidity and here uh, when we say about tax earlier uh the company which uh, pays the dividend or the mutual fund which pays the dividend were uh, paying the dividend distribution tax to the government for the past about 2 years or so that has been changed uh, and the tax burden has been put on the investor that means if you are receiving dividend you have to pay a dividend distribution tax dividend tax as a income tax then again then uh, if you sell then uh, it will be capital gain tax depending on the period we have been holding short term capital gain long term capital gain so now i don't know whether you are aware about the uh, income tax uh, uh, earlier they used to call traces that is wherever uh, tds has been made from your uh, salary and all that will be reflected in a return called uh, uh, traces now after that they have introduced one uh, 26 as uh return in that whatever tax is uh, deducted and whatever uh, dividend has been paid whatever interest has been paid everything will reflect and uh, after that one more uh, uh, return has been brought in ais annual information system there apart from financial transactions all property transactions are also going to be how started reflecting suppose you sell a land that also will come there if you are purchasing gold through proper shopping with the gst and all with the pan declaration that will also reflect so in short uh, wherever you have linked your pan to your uh, savings account or fd account or mutual fund account or dmat account whatever transaction you are making in a year financial year will enter into that ais so the idea is you you don't have any choice of hiding things financial transactions so that uh, whether i should pay tax or not it is not your decision it is the decision of the system it uh, reveals uh, all the things what you have done during a particular year and uh, the privacy is uh, at jeopardy we cannot claim uh, uh, privacy as a matter of uh, uh, constitutional right because government is superior its uh, tax kitty is more superior so to give you all facilities road dam all those things government want funds so for that uh, unless you voluntarily give tax uh, it will not be possible for the government to uh, maintain the funds so because of that 
the it has led see we have made the government to put put or bring more restrictions because many of the people are not willingly giving the tax so they want to uh, bring into net tax net uh, all the people for that reason from time to time day uh, from day to day they have been going on making stringent uh, regulations for tax uh, to avoiding tax evasion uh, national pension scheme there uh, if you uh, go through the uh, google it will give how much you can uh, get pension for getting pension no what is that see in short uh, you are making a lump sum amount as a deposit the earnings made by recycling the funds it is giving a, a percentage of the uh, yield as a monthly payment out that is what that's the essence of that so how much you want to have as a monthly payout depending on that the amount to be invested at front will be uh, changing okay nps comes with options there they say actively decide the allocation in equity corporate bonds to let the allocation here the national pension scheme is linked to the capital market so they are telling uh, they will give you option when you go for this uh, pension scheme you want this scheme or that scheme so you have to choose for choosing the earlier slice what you have told about the capital market investment that the knowledge uh, some knowledge should be there so these are all interlinked okay uh, national pension scheme again it is continuing okay next next funds utility equity hybrid debt equity debt mixture of those thing is hybrid one one word about this equity and debt what is equity in, uh, investment why it is risky is that it is not guaranteed that uh, the uh, company which has earned profit uh, has compulsion to give dividend you only if the board is deciding and uh, shareholders uh, approve payment of dividend then only the company will make a dividend payment whereas let is the borrowing by the company from the public so it has to pay the interest whether it is earning profit or not and there is no question of any choice for the board of directors or the shareholders the company is under obligation to make payment of interest to the investors so usually what will happen is the high risk high return low risk low return so here equity there are certain equity share shares where for your investment of 100 rupees over a period of 2 or 3 years the current market value may be 500 600 even 1000 also whereas debt uh, it will not grow like that fixed the coupon rate they call it coupon rate say 10% 9% it will be in tandem with the rate of interest being given by the banks to their fixed deposit okay next what come the vagaries of the market sip the antidote to a retirement versus sip uh, as i told every month say 500 or 1000 rupees per month uh, in a particular type of product say one particular type of uh, uni- uh, mutual fund every month for a minimum they prescribe minimum 3 years you should uh, continue the sip then whatever uh, up and down happens that will be balanced out average out so at the end you know the return will be not less than 13.4% or 12% which is much more than the present prevailing bank rate of interest for instance in uh, reliance securities there was uh, one particular debt instrument market linked debt instrument uh 2019 i have made a uh, 10 lakhs rupees as investment uh now that is going to mature in this uh, april 2023 the current uh, market value is about 15 lakhs so th- almost 50% rise is there but uh, the thing is as, as on the date of actual maturity of that instrument what is going to be the nav nav means net asset value that at that rate only it will be given it may be 15 lakhs today but uh, if the market falls then uh, the units in which uh, this fund has been invested by that uh, uh, mutual fund if it is uh, declining then it may not be 15 lakhs it may be 14.5 or sometimes if uh, it is a misfortune for me it may be 13.5 also so this risk is always there uh, where 
your investment is capital market linked. Okay. How the retirement corpus will vary with the change in returns and investment? That's what. 15 or 13.5, I don't know. Okay. Types of fraud, mass marketing fraud. I have already told about the five crores case. Network marketing fraud, this again, MLM. Lottery scam. Next. Uh, phishing links, that is uh, password uh, theft. Wishing calls, tempting calls. Then the ATM card skimming. Uh, they put something and that is uh, copying that, uh, uh, what you call that uh, three digit number is there no? on the back of the card. That will be uh, copied. Or whatever you have typed in the uh, password in the keyboard, that would be recorded in the uh, things what they keep. They use it for siphoning off all your funds from your account. Okay. How to avoid them? Already we have told what are the things uh, you don't have password uh, open to all. All those things are there. Okay, next. Uh, we are a fraud. Okay, next. Nomination, very important. Uh, nomination, uh, you would have given in all the SV accounts. Fixed deposit accounts also it is available. DMAT. For DMAT account also, nomination is uh, eligible. So if you have not given so far, you give the nomination. The advantage in uh, giving nomination for a DMAT account is that once you give nomination for that DMAT account, the DMAT account, how many number of companies' uh, shares you are holding, for all the company's shares, that nomination is eligible, applicable. There is no need for you to give nomination for every company's share. Are you able to make up? If you are making fixed deposit, uh, today one fixed deposit, tomorrow one fixed deposit bank, for each uh, fixed deposit, you have to give separate nomination. Another step, bank two. Bank 1 you have made today, bank 2 you are making today. In that, uh, here one deposit, here another deposit means for every bank you have to give nomination. Like that, without uh, uh, DMAT, earlier when this uh, physical system of uh, capital investment was there, if you had purchased uh, one uh, company's share, for that if you have given a nomination, if you go for another company's uh, nomination, uh, purchase, there again you have to give fresh nomination. For each company, you have to give each nomination. But uh, if you make purchases through DMAT account, for the DMAT account, only once you need to give no nomination. Once it is given, whatever uh, transaction, share transactions are made through the DMAT account, that a single nomination will hold good for all the uh, shares held in the DMAT, DMAT account. Okay. And uh, uh, another thing is, suppose at the time of opening the account or DMAT account, you fail to give that nomination, there is a facility to provide in between also. After giving nomination, in between also, the nominee, nomination uh, provider is uh, having the right to change the nomination at any point of time. For banking products, you may reach out to banking ombudsman if you are not happy with the grievance resolution banks. For capital market, you can reach out to CB compliance redressal system or its course, what it is called. If you have a complaint related to insurance policies, IGMS, that is IRDA, Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority of India, IRDA, that is regulating the insurance business, grievance management system. If you have a complaint related to NPS, you may reach out to PFRDA Ombudsman, that is National Pension Scheme. NPS means National Pension Scheme. For that, you may reach out to PFRDA Ombudsman. Next. Summary. Financial planning is the key to achieving goals. In the long run, equity is the best option. Regular investing through SIP is the ideal way. Protect your life and health through insurance. Be an informed investor. Use digital payment smartly, but be watchful of frauds. Raising grievances through a proper process will help you in getting the result to your satisfaction. Next. Next. Acknowledgement. Thank you, Sundaram Mutual, for responding. This photo is required. Madam. This is the Sundaram Mutual Fund, which has sponsored this uh, program for various schools coming under the CBSC board. So, they want this to be captured and presented to the board. Next, happy investing. Now, happy disbursement.
So now I am calling it a day, but uh, whether you are calling it a day or not, it depends on whether you want to raise some questions or not. After the session is uh, over, that is my presentation session is over, you should be followed by question answer. The time allotted is half an hour, but uh, already we have transgressed by 45 minutes about my presentation itself. So, all questions you reserve in your mind and uh, disseminate those questions through some um, email or something like that. I have given my card to you in that email is there. If at all required, you can uh, send the queries. Most probably it will not be because everything is already there. This uh, presentation is also going to be made available to you. If you are interested, you can get it from Madam through your email. Okay. So, thank you for uh, patiently listening to me. Thank you. Time to show our appreciation and gratitude. We would like to take this moment to thank CBSE for providing the necessary support and resources to help our teachers become more trained, thereby enhancing the educational experience of our students. A heartfelt thank you to our amazing resource person, Mr. R.K. Babulal, for inspiring us with your presentation, sir. Thank you, sir. The dedication and effort you put into this training program was really amazing. We are truly grateful for your commitment and dedication. We would like to say a huge thank you to our principal, Mrs. Yam Surya Prabha, our management, and all the teachers who joined for this training program. You, you all showed up with enthusiasm and positivity, which made this session so special for everyone involved here. 